Shut it, man! All right, who's ready to be screwed? It's a new episode of Feud. Today we look back at what might be the most underrated feud of all time. This is the Hawks' personal favourite and it also includes my favourite ever TNA match. Feud is quite a new series to me where we look back at all the moments, matches and promos from a storyline. Today on Feud it's the Mr Anderson vs Kurt Angle feud from 2010. The reason this feud is massively overlooked is probably because it took place at the same time as the TNA WWE Monday Night Wars. This one literally started a month after Hogan turned up in TNA. Now whilst all of that was terrible, there was one excellent thing going on at the same time and that was this feud. The former Mr Kennedy had debuted in TNA at the end of 2009. The now Mr Anderson was a man who many said had been let down by the WWE and had main event potential. Anderson would be a clear heel in this feud and I personally think this is his best work in the wrestling business. So I'll ask you all once again, who's ready to be screwed? It's the Angle Anderson feud. This feud started out in February 2010 at the Against All Odds pay per view. The two met in a world title tournament match. Angle was TNA's main star, <laughs> other than Hogan at this point. There's something about these two guys together that brings out a hidden level of Mr Anderson. He constantly has a look of pure hatred on his face as he stomps and beats on Angle. We're only 5 minutes into this feud and it already feels like these two hate each other just from their facial expressions and intensity. Angle crashes into the corner pole so Anderson starts screaming in his ear like a real dickhead. Near Kurt's head is some sort of army dog tag that Kurt wore to the ring around this time. Anderson carves Kurt's head open with it out of view of the referee. It might be the first time but it certainly won't be the last time that Angle bleeds during this feud. Anderson puts on a sleeper and screams at the referee constantly to check if Angle has passed out, but he hasn't. Anderson's plan seems like it's come undone as Kurt Angle like the cyborg he is fights through the loss of blood and he hits an overhead belly to belly suplex. Kurt follows it up with three German suplexes with Anderson fighting it all the way. Anderson slips out the angle slam and gets a two count off the Green Bay plunge. Mr Anderson starts loosening the top turnbuckle which distracts the referee he looks like an easter egg. Anderson pulls apart the opposite turnbuckle but he can't slam angle into it. Kurt hits the angle slam for a two count. Not long after, Kurt crashes into the exposed turnbuckle and Anderson hits the mic check for the free. Mr Anderson is done though and he takes Kurt Angle's dog tags. He lays it down on top of the motionless Angle and then spits on him. This is how you start a feud, Anderson feels like the biggest heel in the world. He's so easy to hate at this point. On a side note, Anderson would go on to lose this tournament cleanly as the Pope beat him in the main event. Yeah, the Pope had a main event push for about two months before the Hawks killed it. That didn't really matter though because this pay per view gives Anderson a new direction in TNA. This feud would not be about world titles. Anger calls out Anderson on the next episode of Impact. He says he wasn't too bothered about the loss, he was more bothered about the method that Anderson used to beat him. Angle brings out the dog tag that Anderson used in the match. Angle suddenly starts crying about his divorce, his recent arrests, his assault charges and his court case with Raka Khan. I went through a hard divorce. I shamed my kids by, by getting arrested. Falsely accused of things I didn't do, but nonetheless I was arrested and I... He said that when he got out of jail he was at a meet and greet at an army base. During this meet and greet a soldier said he'd been hearing all about Kurt Angle's personal struggles and the soldier gave Angle his dog tag. Kurt was so touched and honoured by this. As Angle reads out what's written on the dog tag his hands are shaking out of control. He would have been at his perkiest at this time, it's quite scary to watch. In fact this whole promo is quite hard to watch from an emotional standpoint. Kurt says Anderson has insulted the US Army by using the dog tag as a weapon. He also says Anderson spat on the United States of America. Angle vows to make Anderson suffer and bleed. After what is an exceptional promo, Mr Anderson makes his way out. He's fake crying and mocking him whilst Angle stares a hole for him. He calls the dog tag a hunk of garbage which is just a utensil to use as a weapon. I'm very touched. <laughs> and very, very moved, Kurt. Oh, look how sensitive I am! Look how caring I am! Anderson tells Angle to come up the ramp and fight. It doesn't go well for Kurt as Anderson smashes his mic into Kurt's head. He ends the segment screaming in his ear, this is total non-stop Anderson. Mr Anderson will continue to boast about leaving Angle in a pool of his own blood. He also carries on talking about how worthless the soldier tag was to him. He was due to face Rob Terry in a global title match. Before the match could start, Ankle raised up for his little special platform he had for his entrances. He smacks Anderson in the back of a chair. It couldn't be much more humiliating for Anderson as he's beaten in 30 seconds by the Welsh Roy to Rob Terry. If you want to make a feud personal, just cost someone a match against Rob Terry. 
No one could take losing to this guy. Anderson retaliates on the next impact. He comes to the ring using Angle's entrance, music and attire. He also has a wacky bold cap on. He was all hunched up as he walked to the ring. Not sure why he has hillbilly teeth on though, Angle doesn't have hillbilly teeth. He also has his own dog tag which is a baking tray with loser written on it. He says he's the most injury prone wrestler in the world as he can't get through the promo without crunching his neck up. I think I just broke my neck for the 17th time again. Then he said he took a dump and pushed too hard and broke his freaking neck. I broke my neck while I was tying my shoe. And then another time I broke my neck when I was walking my dog. I was taking a dump and I, and I pushed too hard and not only did I get hemis, but I also broke my freaking neck. He stays in Kurt Angle character mode crying about what Anderson did to him, saying the dog tag is a piece of crap and he doesn't care about soldiers. What some of you may not know which is weird is Anderson actually served in the army. Oh, it's real! It's damn real! Angle marches to the ring and he beats Anderson until he bails from the ring. Anderson isn't done though and he throws a drink in Angle's face on the outside. Mr. Anderson struggles to take his straps down now and now he hits an ankle slam. Mr. Anderson removes his bold cap. The tan line looks even funnier. He shoots the bold cap at Kurt's face. Anderson takes Kurt's warrior medal again and this time he walks away of it. The medal is over. Angle enters the impact zone the next week with 30 real soldiers. It looks like a really good spectacle. They're going all out for this feud. Angle talks about how great the soldiers are and the sacrifices they've had to make in their lives. Angle says Anderson's actions have spat on all of these soldiers. Kurt Angle is standing up for the soldiers. Mr. Anderson then interrupts over the Titan Tron, calling them all a bunch of high school dropouts. Angle isn't having that though and he runs to the back and blasts Anderson from behind. They fight into the ring but Anderson is still using the warrior medal as a weapon. Mr. Anderson wants to leave but he backs into four soldiers. Angle beats him back into the ring and then the soldiers act like lumberjacks which is really cool. Kurt throws him onto all three sides of the ring as the lumberjacks all take turns smacking him. In the ring now Kurt Angle hits the ankle slam. He spits on Anderson and celebrates with a foot on his chest and the US flag. The soldiers heave Angle onto their shoulders and they all celebrate in the ring. An amazing segment that set up the next part of the feud. Before the next pay per view they're both involved in a tag match. With Angle laid out Anderson assaults Angle again with a dog tag. He then drops down to the mat with Kurt. He hypes up the pay per view match while screaming in Kurt's ear. Kurt's blood is flowing all over the place. He punctuates that by smashing Kurt in the face with the microphone 10 times. This feud's getting intense now. Anderson stares into Kurt's eyes and drops his chewing gum into Kurt's face. Okay, pay per view time. So here we are on the second of three pay per views. This wouldn't be their best match, that's still to come. I have to question the logic of Angle continuing to bring the dog tag to ringside during his matches. If Anderson's going to keep using it on him as a weapon, why would he do that? The match starts with Kurt challenging Anderson to a takedown contest. This was a weird choice considering the personal hatred between the two. Nonetheless I stick with it because I know there's some great stuff to come. Angle hits the first suplex and he looks really happy of himself. This one's all Kurt Angle in the early gun. It all changes when Anderson works on Kurt's arm. Just like the last match Angle crashes into the corner pole. Anderson eventually gets over zealous and he's thrown overhead with the belly to belly. Mr Anderson does manage to fight off the Angle slam and he hits the Green Bay plunge. It's too early for the mic check though and Angle hits a German suplex. Not once, not twice, but thrice and it sure wasn't nice. Now Angle's able to hit the Angle slam which is just a two. Anderson uses a low blow to turn the match around and he hits the mic check which Kurt kicks out of. Mr Anderson dumps in his nappy of anger. Mr Anderson shunts Kurt into the corner now and he makes eye contact with a dog tag that's tied around the ring pole. Anderson tries to throw Kurt from the top rope but Kurt fights him off and nails a top rope flog splash for a two. Then there's a ref bump. Anderson hits an angle slam of his own but the ref is well and truly down. I have to say I love Mr Anderson's facial expressions here. You can see the gears turning in his head as he surveys the situation. He's looking for something and he's screaming at the crowd. He tries to grab something from someone in the crowd but she won't give it to him. He then gets a chair from a fat man in the crowd. Taz on commentary says the chair might already be bent. Anderson goes to smack Kurt with it but then he throws the chair away. He remembers the warrior medal in the corner. Anderson wraps it around his hand but Kurt's playing possum and he suplexes Anderson. Now Angle uses the dog tag as a weapon. Not sure why it's okay if he does it but not if Anderson does it. Kurt absolutely batters him with this dog tag but the ref's still out. Now he puts the ankle lock on as blood is pouring out of Anderson's head. The referee wakes up in time to see Anderson tap. 
So they're one for one now. It seems like Kurt is satisfied and happy that this feud is over, but the best is still yet to come. Anderson on the mat is licking his blood. As Kurt walks away, Anderson lowers his microphone. He says people are fake and Kurt is not an American hero. Anderson said he tried to have a strap wrestling match, but Angle had to resort to cheating. He says Kurt won't be able to sleep tonight because he'll be thinking about him. I don't think he means in a sexual way. Kurt looks a mixture of confused and frightened as Anderson looks like a real head case. In some ways, this promo is better than the match itself, but it wasn't actually a bad match. After a week off, Angle is back in the impact zone, cutting a promo in a cage. He says he's an Olympic champion that has always won by playing the rules. He admits that in the last match he lost control and didn't play by the rules, due to everything that Anderson has done to him. So it sounds like Mr Anderson's words did haunt him and he wants to beat him against prove his superiority to himself. He says at lockdown he'll cover his hands of Anderson's blood. Mr Anderson's here now. He says the feud has got to stop because they're going to kill each other soon. Each week they bloody each other. They need to settle their differences once and for all in a cage match. But first, they'll have a ladder match on impact. At the top of the ladder will be a key to the steel cage door at the pay-per-view. It kind of feels like they're just having a match to boost the impact viewership, but I'm not complaining. These promos are all great. This is what wrestling's missing, you can feel hatred. Anderson fails to beat him in the next two matches because he's an asshole. One day after this match took place, the news would break that Kurt Angle's ex-wife has gotten engaged to... Double J, Jeff Jarrett. So here's the Impact Ladder match, this is a great match. Anderson makes his way out looking disgusted at the fans of the Impact Zone. Angle's still bringing that warrior medal to the ring. I love how the cage key is a piece of wood attached to it explaining what it is. Within a minute Anderson has suplexed Angle on the ladder. This one won't have any slow parts. Anderson isn't done but Angle reverses him and overhead suplexes Anderson onto the ladder. Moments later they're running around in the ring. Angle ducks under the ladder but when he turns around Anderson brutally throws it into his face. Mr. Anderson climbs the ladder. Unfortunately, he hasn't damaged Angle enough and he gets an ankle slam. Kurt boots him out of the ring and he has his opportunity to climb. He's too old and slow and Anderson shoves the ladder. Kurt takes a painful looking fall out of the ring. Taz sounds genuinely worried for him. The crowd have to be censored because they're swearing too much. It looks like Anderson has it won now. Somehow, it's not over though. Kurt makes his way to the top rope and he drop kicks the ladder away. Madness. Kurt's clutching at his ribs now. He's really in pain, but Perk Angle doesn't care about pain. He beats up Anderson on a ladder. He then climbs to the top rope and he hits a beautiful perk drop. He gets massive elevation. The crowd are unhinged now. Anderson is thrown into the corner pole now. As Kurt climbs the ladder, you can see Mr. Anderson make an eye contact with the warrior tag. Kurt's on the ladder. He's still trying to climb, but he's getting choked out now with the medal. He's still trying to climb up, but he's now being choked out with the warrior tag. He's trying to power through it. He's at the top of the ladder now. He has his hands on the key, but he's starting to turn blue. He can't do it. He falls to the mat. He's been choked out. Anderson retrieves the key while celebrating like a real dickhead. Do you know what else has been impressive about this feud? Well, I've got a little factoid for you. Who's ready for a segment? Because I just love segments. It's time for yet another Taz factoid. I got a factoid for both of you guys. I got a boil on my ass. During this entire feud, there was no interference from any other wrestlers. And that's damn rare in TNA, let me tell you. Anderson continues to rub salt into the wounds after the match and hypes the cage match further. So here we are, probably the best TNA match of all time. I really struggle between this and the Unbreakable Freeway. They're really hard to compare because they're completely different match types, but this definitely takes it if you prefer more old school match styles, character work, booking of match, the crowd, and the hatred, and I freaking love this match. Anderson already has a black eye before the match has begun. I can't wait to see this match again. This one certainly doesn't start out of any takedown challenges. Anderson batters him and hits a low drop kick. Mr. Anderson already wants to escape the cage. This might not last long as Anderson starts smashing Kurt with a key. Angle realises he has to do something quickly and he hits a backdrop suplex. Kurt's looking really rough at this point in his life. He looks like he hasn't slept. Kurt realises that the key is in the lock and he can escape, but he chooses not to. Kurt hesitates for a moment which costs him and he's thrown into the steel. Kurt's busted open and we're only 5 minutes in. Anderson's facial expressions this match are great too. He keeps screaming in Angle's ear and he sends Kurt's face into the cage time and time again. Kurt does manage to block an Anderson dive but it's not enough and Anderson elbow drops him. Anderson decides to try and escape again but Kurt is up quickly. He soon pays the price as he's thrown into the door viciously. Later in the match Kurt decides he does want to leave the cage but Anderson crashes down on his back. Kurt looks dead. Anderson's bleeding too now. Mr Anderson wants to do a dive but he takes way too long and Kurt wakes up and throws him with a suplex. The violence intensifies now as Angle is choked out with some tape. Look at that tape, it's cutting into Angle's skin. 
The ref starts to panic and he tries to save Kurt's life. Angle is as blue as a nutsack, but he fights to his feet and hits a back suplex. They're on their knees now, smacking each other. Both men have so much pain in their faces. Kurt starts suplexing Anderson all over the ring, but just like the last couple of matches, he can't hit an angle slam and he gets a Green Bay plunge. Anderson can't hit the mic check and Kurt hits him with Germans. Anderson's trying to fight it off the whole time it's happening. It's the little things sometimes to make matches seem a bit more realistic. If wrestling was real, you're not just going to sit there while someone's picking you up and throwing you all over the ring. Kurt ends up hitting six and he releases the grip. Angle thinks about leaving again, but he doesn't want to. He puts on the ankle lock, which Mr. Anderson fights off and he hits the mic check. He should have left while he could. The padlock has now been released by Anderson, but Kurt's behind him and he hits the angle slam. Kurt shuts the door and he actually chains it shut. That's how you sell a feud. He wants to kill this guy, so he's not just going to be satisfied winning the match. He even throws the key into the crowd. Anderson looks terrified. He starts climbing as he has no other option now. Kurt climbs up the ropes with him. Angle cripples him with a released German suplex. Angle still doesn't want to leave the cage. He's not satisfied. Kurt's thinking of hitting a perk soul. Then he slowly looks at the top of the cage as the crowd erupt. Kurt climbs the cage and then makes a cross with his hands and he leaps off the top of the cage. He barely connects with Anderson, mostly landing on his face. Crazy Kurt Angle with the perk drop right there. Angle's now happy and he decides he wants to leave. He opens the cage door with a hidden key, but as he turns around, Anderson is on his knees, screaming and flipping him the double bird. Kurt's back in the cage with Rage now, where Anderson smacks him in the zone and hits the mic check. The psychology of this match is 10 out of 10. Anderson crawls out the cage halfway, but Kurt has the ankle. Kurt keeps the ankle lock on inside the cage. Anderson's tapping out, but that won't do anything to help him. Mr. Anderson eventually gets desperate and he sends Kurt into the cage. Anderson desperately tries to sliver out the cage, but Kurt's on him again. Kurt now has the warrior medal around Anderson's neck. He won't release it. Anderson's screaming and Kurt's grunting as he tries to exert more pressure on him. It sounds as painful as it can be. With Anderson sufficiently weakened, Kurt spits on Anderson, kicks him in the slash zone and walks out the cage the victor. What an incredible match and really intelligent booking. The way it ended with Kurt using the dog tag to win in the end was a great idea. Kurt has the microphone now. He thanks the fans for the match. Then he announces he's taking some time away from TNA. When he comes back, he wants to be the TNA world champion. Kurt would be back just one month later because he's Kurt Angle and wrestling was the only thing that mattered to him at this point in his life. Angle has since commented that he isn't a fan of this match looking back because he didn't view it as wrestling and he doesn't know what he was thinking. Well I know what I was thinking Kurt, I fucking love that match. Let's show a little bit of love to Mr. Anderson too because we've really only talked about Angle. But there were two men in this feud that made it great. Anderson's facial expressions, his psychology and his general dick attitude just mesh so well with Kurt. Unfortunately, this would be the high point of a mainly forgettable run in TNA for Mr. Anderson. As the years went on, I kept thinking, God, he's proved he can do it in the past, so why can't we have this Mr. Anderson back? Maybe that's just what pairing up with Kurt Angle does for you. Anyway, for once, I certainly didn't feel screwed. Thanks for watching this episode of Feud. Comment your favourite, my dude, and I don't mean to be rude, but if I don't reply, I'm probably in a bad mood.